the Dubbing King Software, a comprehensive audiovisual translation, AVT software for Windows. The Dubbing King Software caters for various audiovisual translation, AVT, modes. It is used for subtitling, translation, and the dubbing processes. Before we could even think of audio and video files, we consumed in the form of print, written form. There were no recording tools or camcoders to record and capture videos together with audios. As we move with time and new ways of disseminating information come up, it is good to note that there are people who would want to consume different information in a text format. Many people more so those who love reading prefer content in written form as compared to those people who love visual presentations and because of that prefer to get information through videos. There is the other category who prefers their content in the form of audio. Different strokes for different folks for sure. I am in the category of people who love consuming content is in video or audio format. The reason I prefer these two is that my concentration span is up to a bare minimum and having all my senses in use usually helps me to be more alert unlike when I'm reading and end up dozing off. Someone else might disagree with that and say that reading up content helps them concentrate more and avoid the distractions that might come with watching videos or listening to audio. The three main ways that businesses use to relay informational content in 2020 are through the three forms that I have mentioned above and that is a podcast, audio, video and blogs, text format. We can consume this content can in all these three formats, but not all content is well and perfectly relayed to the public through all the formats. Different content works well if relayed in the form of a blog and others in the form of podcasts or videos. Video and audio formats usually work well with content that is artsier and includes illustrations for better comprehension, while blog formats are for information that is vast and needs a lot of explaining and attachment of links. When a business puts content out there, I believe it's not just for the sake of it, but they have a target audience and a target in terms of engagement and achieving a certain aim. The particular content they repurpose is to reach a wider target audience and be able to generate a passive income for the business. Transcription services are what a lot of businesses uses to repurpose the audio and video content into blog content. What is transcription? Transcription is more so a film production process that involves converting audio and video file formats into scripts or text file formats either using transcription software or just general ways of transcription. A professional transcriptionist can do it, or even normal day-to-day individuals who would love to repurpose their content in order for them to make a passive income through blogging. In this article, we will answer this one question that many people ask, why transcription? Reasons to repurpose your audio and video through transcription. Below are reasons why choose to repurpose your audio and video content more this new decade. Many people love listening to podcasts and watch videos in this digital age that we are living in. The reason I get when I ask why they prefer that over reading blogs is that it's easy to consume this content even when you are busy doing something else and thus making it super convenient. I agree with that. The thing with audio and video content is that it gives a visual representation and feel of the content that you are consuming and thus making it more enjoyable and fun to engage with. While there are those who love these two formats, there is another percentage of individuals who would rather consume their content through reading. Those of us who can have preferences for certain things over others are lucky because there is a group of people who do not have the privilege to choose. There are people who are deaf and others who have a hearing problem which makes it hard for them to consume audio and video content. This is where transcription comes in handy because businesses can cater to all audiences without making others feel left out. It makes all content inclusive. We all know incivility is a core factor in businesses because there is no one getting into entrepreneurship without wanting to offer a solution for a specific problem and later on making a profit out of it. We are a global village nowadays and someone anywhere in the world can have access to information or content is in a different language to the one they speak. The content might be in an English language or a language that the viewer is more conversant with, but the accents being used are thick or inaudible to comprehend. In such a situation, the viewer would love to get an option of the same content in a format that they will easily consume and comprehend. The simplest and cheapest way to repurpose that information is through transcription. There are definitely different ways a business can repurpose their audio and video content and that is through dubbing, but dubbing is a very expensive film process. Transcription would come in handy as such a situation if you translate and transcribe your content into text and post it online as a blog and be able to create a passive income. As much as I form part of the percentage of people who love consuming content through listening to podcasts or watching videos, sometimes I usually wish that I could have the same content in written form. 
when in a busy, noisy public place and would love to get into some content, listening or watching content is usually very annoying and strenuous and those are times when I love having written content for my consumption. Another example would be when in the library and I come across an interesting video, I would love to watch in that time I don't have earphones, and usually appreciate it when I find a written version of the same content. With this, we can see that transcribed content usually comes in handy in different situations where people cannot consume audio and video files. When searching for information online it's normally easy to get blog format content on Google than to get audio or video content on YouTube or any other video content sites. Google search engine optimization might get you all the files you are looking for by merely searching for a word in line with the content you are looking for. Perhaps writing video and audio titles also helps with search engine optimization, but it's not on the same scale as written text content. With search engine optimization it's easy if not easier to find content through search engines and rank on the search engine page results like SERPs. This shows that people consume a lot of blogs content compared to video or audio content formats so transcription services are important for creating these written formats of contents. Another benefit of transcribing your audio and video content is how easy it becomes for people to search for the particular information you are trying to pass in your content through search engine optimization. Ever wondered why most people love going through a written text format when looking for information than sitting through a 50 minutes podcast or video content? Well, it is because some readers like myself know that written content easily highlights important information. However much an audio or video file might have subtitles you still have to rewind forward several times before you reach the point that the information you are looking for is whereas for written format it's just easy to sift through and get what you are looking for. A transcribed text content will come in handy for people who don't want to waste time looking for specific information. To finish it is very important for content creators to strive to create inclusive content for all its consumers. This not only cuts across a large audience, but it also creates a passive income when posted online. We are living in a digital age where you can find anything and everything can by the click of a mouse, so it would be smart if content creators could take advantage of all the tools available to them freely. In an age where everyone has a YouTube page and putting out video content, it would be very smart if one can transcribe their information in YouTube content into blog posts, which with time, will start generating an income. In 2020 and beyond, repurposing content is the way to go and if you are not with it, then I suggest that you get with it, because 10 years from now you will wish you knew. Written by Winnie Mara Obiso